This video presents Themis, an automated software testing tool for discrimination. Software today makes many important decisions. For example, banks use software to decide who gets a loan. Hospitals use software to decide how patients get treated. In parts of the United States, judges use software to predict how likely someone is to repeat as a criminal before sentencing and assigning bail. Modern software influences critical societal decisions. At the same time, sometimes software does questionable things. In the past, Orbit steered Mac users to pricier hotels. In 2016, Amazon used software to decide where to offer same-day delivery service, and the software ended up discriminating against minority neighborhoods. Furthermore, the software that courts use to determine sentencing and bail has been found to discriminate. We use software to make a lot of important decisions, but real-life examples show that software can discriminate. Typically, software discriminates in subtle ways that are hard for a developer to identify. To build fair software, developers need tools to detect and measure discrimination. While there are a variety of ways to define discrimination, our work focuses on two kinds of discrimination, group and causal, which we will define now. Consider a piece of software that makes loan approval decisions. The inputs to this loan software are race, gender, and income bracket. The output is either approved or denied. Consider two groups of applicants that may apply for a loan, green people and purple people. Say the loan software approves loans for 35% of green people and 20% of purple people. Group discrimination is the difference in the percentages of approvals between groups. Group discrimination can be useful, but fails to capture causality. When we ask, is our software fair? How do we really know if a sensitive input such as race causes a difference in software behavior? One way is to conduct a controlled hypothesis test. Suppose when we alter the race of a loan applicant who is approved, the output changes from approved to denied. Causal discrimination measures how often the decision is different between the green and purple applicants. To help developers test for discrimination, we built an automated software testing tool, Themis. Themis automatically generates test suites to detect and measure group and causal discrimination. Currently, Themis works on software with categorical inputs, such as race, and produces binary outputs, such as approved or denied. Consider the following toy implementation of the loan software described earlier. This software makes it harder for green female applicants to get a loan. For example, a purple female applicant can make nearly half as much as a green female applicant and get approved, while the green applicant is denied. For this toy example, we can reasonably perform this type of manual inspection. However, on complex real-world systems, it is intractable to perform this manual inspection. We have run Themis on machine learning systems using real-world datasets and have discovered discrimination. Let's see how a developer can use Themis to debug software. We add inputs using the Add Input button. This button pops up a separate window where we can specify the domain of an input field. All our inputs show up in this table. Finally, we need to specify which discrimination measurements we want Themis to execute. Say we want Themis to test for group discrimination. Themis asks the user to enter a minimum threshold of discrimination, confidence, and margin for error. Here, we are asking Themis to display all characteristics that are discriminated against 20 or more percent of the time, and we are willing to handle a 0.2% margin for error with a confidence of 99.8%. Our measurements show up in this table. We're now ready to run Themis. During execution, Themis generates and runs tests on the software based on the inputs selected. For this toy example, Themis is very fast. It takes longer for more complex software. A standard output alerts the developer that discrimination was found. If we click More Details, we get a breakdown of Themis's findings. In this window, Themis lists the details of the group discrimination found. For example, the loan software discriminates against sex 41.6% of the time. That number was computed from the min and max groups shown here. After modifying the loan software and rerunning Themis, we can see that we were able to remove group discrimination against sex from our software. What about causal discrimination? Let's run Themis to make sure we're in the clear. Uh-oh, it seems our software still discriminates. When reporting causal discrimination, Themis lists all of the causal pairs. These are pairs of inputs where when we change the characteristic of each input of interest, the software's output changes. Here, race is the input of interest. This causal pair shows that when we change the race of a male applicant in the second income bracket from orange to blue, the output changes. Thanks to Themis, we were able to automatically test for and debug discrimination in the loan software. Themis is the first step towards the ability to test software for discrimination. 